even though I've been up and around and campaigning so far, uh, announcing that I am a candidate for the 122nd Assembly seat. All three branches under democratic control can't get the job done. We need to have a balance of power in Albany. They're bankrupting us, and we have to go down and do something different and send a message that the North Country is having enough of, of that kind of treatment and that kind of leadership in Albany. And in the Assembly right now, the Assembly has an idea that they want to borrow $2 billion in the next three years. They want to borrow $6 billion to get out of the deficit that we're in right now. we got to go to Albany and cut those credit cards up and start paying as we go. If they do this and they borrow that money, it's, it's not me that's going to be paying back all of those deficits and loans. It's going to be Noah, and it's going to be Claire, and it's going to be your sons and daughters and grandchildren that are the ones that are going to have to be paying the state back as, as we go forward. Odds are we may even lose those children out of New York because of the way our state is handled. So we've got to, we've got to go down and stop the spending and stop the borrowing. First thing we have to do is we have to go down and, and talk about the values of the North Country. Uh, the state tells us as counties that we have to tighten our belt. The towns and villages and the school systems has to tighten their belt. But they're not the ones listening to their own advice. So one of the things that I would consider doing is taking a flat percentage cut off of all, this, all of the state agencies. Uh, I don't know exactly what percentage that is because I haven't been down there to look at, the, at, at everything, but I would say that we have to cut every state agency and tell them that they're going to have to do more with less, just like we're doing. The other thing is, Albany is, there's too many, there's too many people in government in Albany. Uh, we need a low, just like we did in our county. For the last six years in our county, we shrunk county government by 48, 48 positions. We have to do that in Albany. And what we have to do is look at it as a top-down approach instead of a bottom-up approach. We have to go in and see uh, how many of those uh, political appointment jobs are sitting in Albany. We have to go in and see if the bureaucracy uh, can be cut. Not starting at the bottom with our uh, prison, with the corrections officers, or starting as our DOT workers that are working uh, in the field. We have to look at the top and we have to see do we need that position? How much are we paying for that position? And if we don't, we've got to get rid of that position. They're getting six digit incomes down there, and I'd like to know what they do to earn that and if, in fact, uh, they're not earning their money, if they're not paying their way, we ought to get rid of them. The bottom line is that we need to send a message to Albany that says enough is enough. And when I go down as your representative in the assembly, I'll carry that message to Albany. Finally, I just want to say that this 2010 election is probably the most important election that I've seen since I've uh, been in New York. I've been in New York a long time. Every assembly race and Senate race is really important this year. We need to overturn the Senate back into Republican control, and we need to pick up six or seven seats in the assembly to stop veto, the veto power. Now, I remember when I was first a committeeman, and when I was first a committeeman, we ran as a team. Uh, the team was McHugh, the team was Wright, the team was Nortz, the team was Scazafava. It was four Republicans running as a team, taking that message down to Albany. We need to get those seats back. We need to get the 23rd back, we need to get the 118th back, and we got to get the 48th back.
So once again, thank you for coming. I'm going to try to be in every town and every district and all the districts of St. Lawrence and Lewis and Jefferson County campaigning this summer. And with your help, uh, we'll make it to Albany. Thank you. D.B. Scozo Papa was wildly popular in this district. She yes. won over 60% of the vote every time she ran for election yes. against a contested person. Uh, a person who typically voted for Didi, what, what would you tell them that your similarities were to our, their current representative? Similarities? Yeah. I think, I think our similarities are that uh, we, we want, I believe she does and I do want smaller government. I think she agrees that we, uh, uh, she's fought for lower taxes and uh, I, I feel that uh, that falls in line with my way of thinking. She's been there for the uh, farmer. I plan on being there for the farmer. Uh, I think our tourism and our sportsmen uh, need some uh, need some help in Albany uh, with the fees and everything that, that they're putting on us. Uh, I think all of those things we agree on. Have you reached out to her at all to try to get a lay of the land and see what see how uh, Albany works in a upfront uh, view? I've talked to her. Uh, I, last I've talked to her on Monday. But that was the last time. Okay. But no, I haven't talked to her about it. Is that something that you're interested in doing? Uh, I would like to do that. I mean, uh, you also have Addie Russell on the other side. She worked with you in the Jefferson County Legislature. Yes, yeah, she did. I and you know when you're when you're elected and you're the one that the voters say should be going to Albany. I don't I don't care if you have a D or an R at the end of your name. You say, you have to then. Work with uh, work with the people who the voters said you're going to work with. I did that as chairman. I met with I've met with Addie and Daryl and uh, Congressman Owens. I mean, so after just because we have political differences doesn't mean that we can't work together for the betterment of the North Country. I've tried to do that. I I had an outreach to every one of those uh, individuals, and I think that I could work across. I could work with anyone that the, that the uh, voters of New York send down. I would love to work with, as I said, our Republican team. Uh, the way it used to be uh, years ago, it would be, it would be nice to go down there with a team. Uh, every time I keep attending one of these Tea Party uh, groups, I see you there. So yes. what role, do you, if any, do you think they'll uh, play in this? I, I think, I believe, I believe they have a message that the elected officials better start listening to. Uh, I, I've met, uh, I met a few of them. I went to uh, the 912s meeting, uh, and I believe they're con all of those are concerned, just like I'm concerned, with the, with the conditions of the state of New York. They're concerned about losing their liberty. They're concerned about paying taxes. And uh, I, I believe our elected officials better start paying attention to, the, to what they're saying because the message is strong and it's the right message. It's going to take a